Are you using a new microphone? You sound different. I'm not using a new microphone, but I am using new audio drivers, so mm. that might help. I hope. I mean, it sounds a little bit like tin canny, a little bit echoey. Oh, different bad. Okay, that's yeah. bad. <laughs> I mean, it's polite different bad. It's not terrible. It's just, you know, not necessarily as crystal clear as it used to be. As always, hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Lion Live Super Show. Uh, I'm your host, Rockley Smile, here with uh, YouTube.com slash Northern Lion. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> Am I better? Yeah, you sound fantastic now. Okay, great. Yeah, it was set on my webcam, and that sucked. So ah, sorry. yeah, I've recorded whole videos like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one time, uh, Mike Michael A. L. Fox came over, and we were playing, like, he came over to my actual house, and we were playing Spelunky. He had traveled for, like, five hours to get there. Uh, one of those times when he was back in Ontario, uh, when he lived in Saskatchewan. And, uh, yeah, I recorded, like, a whole episode of multiplayer on the uh, webcam mic. Oh, uh, that's a drag. People seemed okay, it, though. Oh, I was gonna say, did, did that ever get published? Cause I it, don't it did get published, the audio was all like weird and clippy, but, you know, by and large, it wasn't horrible. Oh my god, dude, these fucking casters, I swear to god! Played the Oregon Trail. How you like that game? It's super fun, and it, it resonates a lot with, with the audience. I think the people on, like, my channel have a good imagination. Right. And so, I, that's what, I mean, cause... If you think about the Oregon Trail, there's really not much to see. There's not much yeah. going on. Right, yeah, but that's I definitely like true. like the idea of me, you, Bane, and The Rock. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> across the continental United States in the zombie apocalypse. I'm glad you said continental United States. I wouldn't want you to give the false idea that possibly they go through, like, Hawaii. That would, that Guam. should be DLC. DLC, Hawaii and Alaska DLC. <laughs> I'm gonna tweet men with many hats right now and suggest that they're into it. Oh yeah, they be into it for sure. I, I've heard the way you've described the Cards Against Humanity card, so I'm pretty sure you know they don't need that much imagination. You fill in most of the blanks, <laughs> and most of the blanks are a salty surprise. Uh, that's a there's a lot of saltiness. The most of the blanks are, are a surprise. salty surprise. <laughs> I'm interested. I, I would love to have some way of like keeping score in Trackmania to see who's like doing well and who's doing terribly over the course of the get, entire uh, stream. Get, get Nimwing. Yeah, I guess get, so. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that guy's too pleased <laughs> with me considering he built like that whole thing for me and I just have never used it yet. <laughs> because I'm the world's laziest man. Just make a card that says Ohm wins. <laughs> and then you'll have covered every possible reality. Dude, I don't know. We might have Ohm's good at these competitive games, but uh, Josh and I have experience in Trackmania. Oh, I love Trackmania. I should really you know never doubt Ohm though. It's it's oh my god. That dude is good at like every game. He yeah. murdered our asses Trackmania, and smite this weekend. You're, you're gonna be in for like a, a hardship, man. It's it's not the easiest game to stream. Really? Oh, because yeah. you gotta talk like, at the same to... time. Yeah, you have to talk and do well at the same time. Well, I don't have Meanwhile, to do well. Like, your audience is going to be, like, throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've already had that happen once. There were pictures. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the dude threw up on his leg. That was awesome. Why did that happen again? He apparently was laughing so hard from our playing cards. Oh, yeah. Community, which I, I find that to be a huge honor, actually. That is the... Yeah. Definitely. He should probably, like, see a doctor or something, though. That's pretty insane. Doctor. Don't even. It's cheap. Doctor, cheap I laughs, Josh. I was just. I would. I just said. Use. You know. You know. MD. Please enter my world. <laughs> Please enter my world. You know the mind killer is actually Chuck Norris. We actually found out he he kills bears like with his mind. <laughs> well, it sounds like he's he the bear bears. killer then. Mind the bear. What was up with that oh. clip, man? He was like fighting a bear with his shirt off. Or oh, are you you're talking about Walker, yeah. Texas Ranger? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he does. And has got to, you know, wreck some bears. Okay, but the, the thing about Chuck Norris is that I don't necessarily buy into the idea that he's funny just because of those jokes. Uh, right. But some of the shit that he did on Walker, Texas Ranger, like whoever wrote that deserves a fucking WAG award. Cause he stopped really the good. chainsaw with his bare hand. Yeah, I've seen that one. I, I saw the one where he's like teaching a class and somebody throws like a, a paper ball at him and without even looking he just catches it like backwards and then Dark Souls is like completely frozen oh my god this is such did bullshit. you see the one where he's like driving and he just like punches the chick like in the passenger seat what yeah he just knocks her out because <laughs> yeah. you know almost certainly Ow. she was she was being too like hysterical for her own good 
<laughs> that was like a like tactical a knockout. The wife situation, like from the Liam Neeson movie. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you can smell plane crashes too. I didn't know about that. Is yeah, that... Ryan, did you see the plane crash one? Is that from the gray? Oh no! Oh, yeah, no. I, I have seen no, that one. No, the Chuck Norris. Yeah, when uh, he's like, "There's a plane crash here." <laughs> <laughs> he smells the ground. Dude, he is a Texas Ranger. That's what like better than the dog in that goddamn hunting game. Yeah. <gasps> Hunter's Trophy Two Europa. Uh -huh. He could smell red stink lines anywhere except for if he needed to smell them at a certain time. Red stink lines sounds <laughs> like something you use on a fishing trip. Yeah, a hunting trip. Probably be. A fishing trip. A fishing I don't know trip. what a stink line is. You know, when like someone's really stinky stank in a cartoon fish. or something. Stank fish. The stank fish. Answered man is trying to uh, be summoned into my world right now. I'm the backwards man, the backwards man. I can walk backwards faster than you can. I can walk backwards faster than you can. You like backwards Freddy Got man. Fingered? I love Freddy Got Fingered. We talked about that on the stream, right? There's like a certain proportion of people. Oh! Shit, yeah. okay, I've got a summon. But. It's soap on a rope. Yeah, there's a certain proportion of people out there that feel that that's actually like. Like Tom Green made avant garde art without realizing it. Or like totally realizing it. The meat piano is avant garde art. Beyond that, I don't know. Summoning failed. I mean, it's just like a weird movie. Yeah. There's you're like, that, yeah. Hooks up with that lady who doesn't have any legs. She has legs. Well, she technically, can't. she doesn't have legs. Well, Remember I guess. Remember when Tom Green had the bum bum song? <laughs> bum was on the lips. Bum was on the When the bum, bum was on the Swedish, that was probably the best part. <laughs> <laughs> it got to uh, number one at TRL. What? Yeah, I remember that. What kind of and country do you guys live in? <laughs> it's a really weird country. Before that, it was like in sync and Limp Biscuit, like and corn for weeks. Yeah, and then <laughs> like, and then Tom Green comes in and gets like number one in like yeah. two days. He had a big social media push. I mean, it's like if Ray William Johnson wanted to have a song on TRL now, he would be able to. Does TRL right. even think exist anymore? He's like told Tom Green, he's like, yeah, you, you got to get rid of this. <laughs> You have to retire this right Very good. Very good. Dwayne the Doc Johnson just told me to use the people's elbow. He should have. He, he lost in uh, WrestleMania last night. Isn't he like 50? Yeah, he lost John Cena. <laughs> like, well, who could nine. possibly beat the legend John Cena? John Cena is the ultimate scum. He is. He had a rapping career. The real problem is I gotta go through Macho these. I Man jukes. Randy Savage last night and it was embarrassing. You, what? Was what? Randy Savage? Yeah, I was I was hoping he might have won, and then I kind of didn't realize he died. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he didn't have the best WrestleMania. I feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> like, oh yeah, maybe he'll do like flying elbow drop from the heavenly turn. Wow, can you imagine the gravitational potential on that? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> dude would have some insane damage. <laughs> Isn't there only a maximum speed that a man can fall? Or is uh, that yes, but Randy fall? Savage is not a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm glad I unintentionally set you both up for that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Randy Savage is, like, the, he's not a god. He's, like, the one who a defeats myth? the gods. All right, well, I guess I'll just die again, if you don't mind. Hey, uh, I've got an interesting uh, point for you guys here. What's up with this uh, prisoner dude who is still here? What prisoner, dude? Uh, Mr. Chainman. Oh, he comes back? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. I thought he was dead forever. That sucks. Yeah, he's no, king he's asshole, basically. Him. Just run past him. Can you fit down this tiny hole? No. Don't even... <laughs> By the way, uh, J. Smith OTI, he can uh, fit down this tiny hole. Yeah, why'd you believe me? <laughs> Look at uh, him. I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, yeah, I'm dead. There's a guy behind you, too, now. Oh, it's real funny. Oh. <laughs> you died. It's real hilarious. Dark Souls. <laughs> Suicide Prinny is right, by the way. He said, you should have done an elbow drop on the way down there. And then he hashtagged Randy Savage. <laughs> Can we get a hashtag Randy Savage going? Yeah, right, fuck NLSS. Randy Savage <laughs> is the new hashtag. I would rather it be the people's elbow if it has to be something. Wow, like are you going to make a stand? You're saying Dwayne the Doc Johnson is better than Macho Man Randy Savage? Wow. I'd like to see them fight to decide who's better. Uh, they'll never Once fight. They They're both on the same side. The side of positive entertainment. <laughs> I thought, uh, uh, the Doc Johnson was on the side of electrifying entertainment. Alright. The cream rises to the top. The cream <laughs> does rise. Just as Are you serious? 
<laughs> this fucking joke, man. I'm gonna be so happy when I finish with this DLC, man. It'll happen soon. I'm gonna be the world's happiest. I thought this was gonna be like a two episode fucking interlude. But now it's an odyssey and people. Yes, like now it has become a fucking nightmare. The, the thing that's great though is that there's, <laughs> there's like huge I've... long tail success on these. Like, oh, whenever God. I post a video that's like me failing over and over, people get pissed like the day of, but then I look back at it six months later and I'm like, oh, 150,000 views. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen yeah. on these streams. People who are like mad into Dark Souls are gonna be like, wow, this guy's a fucking idiot, but you know, the more casual audience is like, herp the derp rage through, <laughs> hilarious. I have this video for this game called Cuboid Sandbox that was like a Ludum Dare game that just got you know, thrown out there, it was done in like 48 hours or whatever. And it's just a game where you take blocks and you put them in the screen and you like put little towers up and they eat stuff. And there's no actual rules to it, there's no actual structure to the game, it's just for fun, right? Okay. So, apparently, that was a big deal, and that game freaking like took off because I guess NerdCube covered it. And people have been coming to my channel and yelling at me because I didn't know what the goddamn towers were, and they're still <laughs> doing it to this day, and they've been doing this for like eight months now. Every few days, I get like three more rage comments saying, "Why don't you know what the towers are?" Wow. A little bit of a rant here, but I just thought that was kind of funny. I had another one today, mm -hmm. so I thought I'd mention it. Hey, uh, by the way, so I'm putting on the top hat, my Bioshock Infinite esque top hat. We're gonna make our way down here and then never play Dark Souls again. Did you hear that, guys? Ryan mentioned Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, probably by far my asked. Uh, or my most asked question on Ask FM is like, dude, why aren't you playing Bioshock Infinite? As if there's like some kind of like ethical or personal issue that I have yeah. with the game. Which you is had a true. fight with that developer, right? Yeah, little known fact, like Ken Levine actually killed my mom. Oh! That's rough. Yeah, it was like I was at a wrestling match. I was actually wrestling Macho Man Randy Savage. Uh, and then, you know, my uncle slash mom in this story would like drop me off and we had a big fight beforehand. And then I won the fight against uh, Randy Savage, and then I let the, you know, the whole, the dude got angry and, like, wanted to not pay me as much as I deserved. Oh, wow. This has crossed the threshold from, like, silly novelty Twitter account discussion to full-on fanfiction. <laughs> <laughs> but then I let, Ken Levine, like, stole $200 from the wrestling guy. And then he ran out of the building, and I was like, good, that's what you deserve, you greedy piece of garbage. And then I went down, and then Ken Levine had killed my mom. Use tables. And really she told me that, that. Great, with great power comes great responsibility. I thought I heard that somewhere. It must, yeah, I guess that's where it was. Do you have a crest shield? I, of course I have a crest shield. Do you think I don't care about dental hygiene? The dental dam shield. Cool. I'm a Colgate fan myself. I don't even, I don't give a shit. This as long as it's not Tom's. Cool gate. And then he smiles and goes, ting. Boy in a barrel. Channel favorite, boy in a barrel. It's like, remember what Vaz said. Doing the same thing over and over, repeatedly, and expecting the same results. Or expecting different results is insanity. Pretty sure that might not be uh, originally a Vaz quote from Far Cry yeah, 3, but. Probably not. Why the hell isn't your guy naked? It makes you immaculate. That's true. I have a much better success rate. <laughs> When I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> With Don't everything, really. I should- Oh! Kellerod's here! Excuse me? I don't know, someone said that you're the Al Bundy of Dark Souls. You're right, boy in a barrel. Maybe you should be less Al Bundy and more Ted Bundy. Wow! There you go. <laughs> maybe I should be less how... Al Bundy or Ted Bundy and more Solomon Grundy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon Grundy wants to beat Dark Souls! The YouTube chat is arguing about whether or not the insanity quote was from Franklin or from Einstein. I think it's Franklin Einstein. <laughs> I'm Franklin that guy. Turtle? Yeah. It, it is from Einstein and not from Voss. Or anyone who thinks <laughs> that it is. Yeah, go forward there. Try jumping. Uh, how about you go forward and uh, suck on my knees? Suck on my balls on your knees. Suck on my <laughs> knees. Dude, I'm going insane from Dark Souls. Suck on my knees. Yeah, we, that would almost be worse because they'd be all like dirty and wrinkly and stuff. Your knees are dirty and wrinkly <laughs> from what? Being on the, your knees too often? Wow, that's really highbrow humor there. Hi, <laughs> I'm gonna give you the rocks highbrow. I think when he puts his brow up, it means the elbow's coming next. I guess is where you're going with that. People's highbrow? Kind of. 
He has a really good, like, arched eyebrow. eyebrow. He does have a good eyebrow. Yeah. Have you seen your own eyebrow in that damn Pixar picture of you? You got a pretty good eyebrow, too. <laughs> That's true. You guys should have an eyebrow off. Yeah, Northern Lion's knees have just added me on Twitter, by the way. That's good. Boy in a Barrel says, attack the ghosts, they're really just racist dudes in blackface. Wow. Whoa! That's not racist to say that! Hey, Did you guys see the, man. it's it's viral today, that new Brad Paisley song. No, I like uh, Brad Paisley though. Well, you're, you're gonna find this song probably hilarious. Um, it's about how, like, like, people of the South now shouldn't be blamed for, you know, fighting in the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fighting in the Civil War, no. like to uphold. No. Yeah, and it's got a guest star in LL Cool J. Nah. -uh, Swear what? to God, man. <laughs> That's bad. I, I forget what it's called. It's it's something like um you know like modern South Man or something like that. Oh, I want to listen to this. You should. It, it's viral and hilarious. <laughs> Is this intended to be taken seriously? And I think so. There's there's a, wow. a marked lack of self-awareness involved in this piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I don't know, maybe we're being a little bit harsh on him. Maybe he's got good intention. Because it's not it's not like, don't blame me because my granddad's a racist. It's it's not like that, but <laughs> it seems like he's trying to, you know, in his own way, be like, sorry, but uh but I didn't do it. Yeah, basically, this is like, yeah. <laughs> it comes across as a little hilarious for many reasons, shall we say. Right, yeah. How long until we check. actually get, like, don't blame me because my granddad's a racist now? Has oh, followed you on Twitter. Yeah, I want to I wanna hear that song. <laughs> oh, I think uh, uh, Michael some... Fox is trying to call us right no, now. No, don't let that jerk bag in yeah. until 4.30. He just, yeah, he said I want in. He's always trying to not play by the rules. Yeah. Apparently the song is called Southern Comfort Zone. Southern Comfort. Which is yeah, so, guess. is like a really, really funny so, name. Is, Southern is, Friend Zone. <laughs> wow, Southern Friend Zone is real good too. Oh, apparently the actual name of the song is Accidental Racist. <laughs> oh. Like, uh. literally. Well, that actually changes the framing a little bit. <laughs> it's called it's not called accidental racist. It's called accidental racist. No, it's not. I believe it is. All right, hold now, on. That was the title of the video I watched, but I thought it was someone that re-uploaded it with like a funny title. News for Brad Paisley talks about his LL Cool J duet, Accidental Racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't wait to read this article. <laughs> If there's any hard-hitting quotes, be sure to tell me. <sighs> the song covers Paisley's struggle to deal with race issues as a white man in the sound. <laughs> it feels like people are walking on eggshells whenever the subject come up. The lyrics describe him, or at least the character he's playing, walking into a coffee shop wearing a shirt that has a confederate flag on it. Which, you know... Saying, yeah. Our bad, right? Like... <laughs> Oops. Sorry, I, you have the right to wear the Confederate flag wherever you want, but people also have the right to be like, whoa, what up yeah, with that, Brad Paisley? If you're trying to wear the Confederate flag, you're trying to make a statement, right? So, isn't it... So, I'm well, a like good, down-home southern boy! Like, a lot of the Confederate flag is just being, you know, proud of, like, being from the South. But then you also have the whole, you know, the southern thing that happened yeah. in the Civil War. So it, it's, it's, it is walking on kind of like two sides there. It's unfortunate that those are inextricably linked. Maybe they should make like a new southern flag that just has like, you know, some corn or something on it. Well, why force Cotton. the division though? Like, what's the advantage anymore? We're all still one country, right? But, well, I mean, there's, you guys are. There's people that are proud to be from like New York. There's people that just like being like from where they're from. Right. Southern. Well, that's fine. I mean, we have It's a different culture. We have states and that's fine. We have like a state bird and stuff. I don't know wow, why we have a state bird. Who's out there celebrating the state bird? <laughs> I celebrate eagles, man. <laughs> that's not, that's the free as hell. No, I'm just saying I'm celebrating eagles all day. Well, Michael I'm Adams says the new southern flag should have the band corn on it. <laughs> corn fed got a team. Yes. Alright. I thought in RPGs instead of a team we call it a party. Yeah, this is a party. <laughs> it is a party. Pacific Coast Party. 
You guys big Smash Mouth fans back in the day? No, not really. Oh, excuse me? Don't lie. No. I like that one song. I honestly, I, I only knew like All Star and Walking on the Sun. Yeah, let's do those. I forgot there were two. Answered Man, I'm going to fight the shit out of you in real life. You gotta fight Answered Man? Yeah, oh, dude. He died. Fool me once, shame on you. Uh, fool me twice. Yeah, won't get fooled again. I like the George Bush version of that, where he forgets what the saying is halfway through and then says it a couple more times. I think that's the one I just did. <laughs> How is it? Wait, what? All of a sudden, my Twitter's going nuts. What's going on here? Pro Twitter. The Jonathan, whatever his name is from Corn, Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis? I thought he had a, like a brain aneurysm from headbanging. Whoa, too much. Jesus. I thought you were going to say Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Jonathan? <laughs> okay, this is not funny, but have you seen that Jonathan Taylor Thomas account? No. It's verified on Twitter. Apparently he has, like, serious lung disease from the working conditions on uh, Home Improvement. Wait for The working conditions? Yeah, what? apparently there's, like, asbestos everywhere or something. So he has, like, real lung problems. Oh, yeah. what's, what's up with this uh, humanity storm? Wait, from playing the character in the show or from actually being the actor in the show? What do you mean? Is... I'm really confused. <laughs> are, is this a parody account or is this... No, that, well, I don't know. Verified. It seems like it would be like a... Oh, shit. Seems like it would be like a really mean parody account. I thought the joke was that his character then developed some sort of disease and then formed a parody account. No, man, it's verified Jonathan Taylor Thomas. So oh, if the people at Twitter have done their due diligence, I'm pretty sure he has, like, mesothelioma or something. And they always do on Twitter. You well, should go to that one law office of James Sokoloff. James Sokoloff? Sokoloff? Do you or a loved one being diagnosed with mesothelioma? I thought that was Ryan Roach and Ryan. <laughs> I have no idea who those guys are. But <laughs> I know who one of them is. At a party. When you want to play with me, I'll buy Oh, are we being invaded? Yeah, we're being invaded. I gotta, I gotta go to the bathroom. Dark Spirit Count, did you have to do laundry? I have to do laundry. Oh, tonight, fuck so you, man. I really do. We also have a uh, summon sign. It's Schnitzel! Schnitzel is like one of those dudes who shows up. So he's like a guest star on a sitcom. We need like our own song for him whenever he shows up. Like that South Park episode whenever he says, um. Or whenever Butters is on. It's like, who's that guy with the twinkle in his step? <laughs> Always got a big smile on his face. Everyone knows it's butters, etc., etc. Anyway, I like when he kicks off his shoe in that dance recital, and then yeah. he kills everyone in the entire room. I got something in my front pocket for you. <laughs> Why don't you reach in my pocket and see what it is? <laughs> and then he's got the song about the apples. You know, Lulu, Lu, Lu, I got some apples, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Kate is laughing her ass off though. <laughs> <laughs> She's killing herself laughing. <laughs> Hi, Kate. <laughs> Crazy Mike singing the apple song. <laughs> what? Lou, 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 I got some apples. Lou, 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 you got some too. I don't know if that's the tune there. That is pretty Excuse much me? it. Those are the lyrics. Josh, you missed uh, the, Nick and I were singing, well, mostly me. I was singing the, the Butters song from South Park. You did well. Someone's got a little. Wait, no, yeah, we did that one too. For you. Yeah. Well, we open open up. Up. To see what see it is. What it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. That song? Yeah, that song. Yup. And the and the one where they like on the Butters episode where he like accidentally kills somebody. I can't remember how it goes. What uh, is it? But you were singing. Yeah. It, but no, I remember how the goes. song goes. I don't remember the episode. Oh. Who's how's that the boy go? with the letter do do do? Who do do and who do do? You know. You just say herpity derp for everyone. You know, you don't need to verify it. I'm sure you'll just believe it. But that is how I sing most of my songs here. <laughs> Plus, you know, helps avoid copyright violation. Yes. You guys know what's a great song? A Salty Salute by Guided by Voices. I'll listen to it. Guided by Voices. They have... I didn't like the those two albums that you told me to get, like the real short ones. Yeah, with, those, like, all those that's short like the best albums they've ever made. I didn't like Like Post Alter Bridge or something? Wait, post Alter Bridge? What the heck are like, you guys talking about? Three Legs like... Removed from Creed or something. It sounds like a Jesus band. It, oh, it, I guess it does kind of sound like a Christian rock band, but it's not. Yeah, but Michael like, Adams yeah. is a smart dude. B-1000 is the best album of the 90s. I don't necessarily agree, but it is very good. Very, very what? good. I like Now 38. Now, now, that's yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, and that's the one. It's got uh, Say My Name. It's got... Um, don't go chasing waterfalls. But oh TLC. yeah, um, what's the one? Um, Salt and pepper the, song. The Brandy is on there. and Monica. Um, Geller. Oh, yeah, shit. Geller. 
Not Monica Geller, you ding dongs. <laughs> do the collapse, that's my favorite guide boy voices. Do they really? Yeah, I like that a lot. Well, that's Dude, cool, Teenage guess. FBI is sweet. Yeah, Teenage FBI is a great song. Liquid Indian's good. What's a Liquid Indian? You don't What's want to know. Song? It sounds like a drink. Like a really. It sounds really does. It's a, like a Dude, really Cowboy culturally Dan intense. Dan is a really good Indian song. What is? Cowboy Dan? It's a really By good Modest Indian Mouse. song. Yeah. Oh, Indy. Mm. I think he said Dan. Indian. Oh. Yeah, he is. He's like when Native American or First Peoples. <laughs> He's on the reservation. Goes out and drinks and gets mean. I wouldn't He's necessarily say it's a. Uh... <laughs> That's that's the real lyric. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an Indian <laughs> song, though. I mean, I would. It's American. Decidedly. American. You're decidedly not American. <sighs> if you don't like America, you can just get out, North Carolina. <laughs> I know. I barely get in. <laughs> I'm getting in. You. People are keep yelling at me now. They're like, Michael Al Fox wants into the call. Yeah, y'all know. I told him 4.30! It's not me being a dick, it's just that the commentary is not gonna make much sense if this guy comes in here and starts talking about, you know, sour cream and onion potato chips. He will, too. That's gonna- <laughs> it's gonna work for Trackmania, man. You'd probably want to talk about cheese a lot. I like cheese, I'm not gonna lie to you. You don't like cheese more than Michael A. L. Fox. No, because he's like an artisan cheese lover. Yeah. Yo, he... I had an eight-year-old Gruyere today, it was beautiful. <laughs> I had an eight-year-old Gruyere today. He was wow. really good at hockey. <laughs> it sounds like you had sex with Daniel Briere's son. I would have. Wow. All right. Wait, what? Yeah. What are you saying, man? You, you can't run on autopilot. Oh my God! What's wrong with me? What is this guy doing? Well, here. here. All right. Well, everyone's gonna get in at like 4:30. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying hi. All right. Oh, I got in. Okay. Step one of my master plan has been completed. Wow. That is. That just got broadcasted live to the internet right now. People are gonna think what I was? burped there. It's gonna well, ruin my reputation. I'm not a burper, I'm a farter. Sometimes right. you burp, sometimes, sometimes you fart. Sometimes I'm scared to see. I knew it! <laughs> but, but all, all I really I really want really is to hold yeah. you tight. Has anyone tried uh, Shoot Mania? I have. I, yeah. I spent a lot yeah. of time with Shoot Mania last year, actually. It's, it's, it's a super weird a game. I kind of like it a lot. I just wish it was better supported, and I wish it didn't run on this shitty, like, Mania Planet back end. Yeah, it's kind of obnoxious. But like, yeah, owning any Ubisoft game on Steam is like, oh, so you want to run like Ubisoft's proprietary client over top <laughs> of Steam? You're like, no. Honestly, right. I, bought, I bought Far Cry 3 during like the winter Steam sale, and I just bought it on consoles because I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> yeah. Don't you I know still have to make horrible. an account even on consoles? You just have to like, it does it seamlessly? I think you can opt out yeah. of it. Oh. You don't have to, but on Steam you have to. It's, it's horrible. Hate it. It's a shame because I really like the, the Mania Planet stuff I just wish it didn't have I didn't have to deal with mania planet in order to use it yeah because and, and also it's like this planetary currency and I have no idea what's up with that like I'll go to servers yeah, planets, yeah. and the servers will planetary be like hey donate currency. your planets to us I'm like is there some kind of like fucking black market where I can exchange planets for real money because that's the only reason I could imagine servers okay. asking for this planetary Wait, planetary what is what the hell is that you earn planets whenever you finish yeah. a level depending on your placement you'll be rewarded with planets uh, planets Josh. are just like dollars or gold or, you know, whatever, credits. Weird. They gave me 200 of them for not playing the game. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> come on, man, come back, please. <laughs> we'll give you planets. I got, I got like 10,000 one time. It was like, you you haven't wow. played in two weeks. Here's 10,000 planets. Oh, shit, man. Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, it has crashed one more time, and I'm going to rejoin the Skype call. Oh, shit. Hello. I do. I wow. Do. I think eventually... Well, welcome back to your own damn stream. I know, right? I mean, you, you guys weren't heard at, during the time when I was right. gone. That'd be pretty cool, right. though, if I could somehow set yeah, that so up. We actually just start our own stream, so... That would that would, might actually work better. How about you guys stream, <laughs> and I'll just set up a screen region to capture your stream. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Peer-to-peer -peer streaming. All of us will stream, and we'll all just capture it. Can I run something by you? Sure. Peer-to-peer -peer docking. <laughs> I don't what? get it. How would that work? It. That's how you have to what do it, I guess. Is? Why is there a giant jello mold in this level? Because it's the Northern Lions Thunderdome, man. One man enters the jello, one man leaves. Imagine laying on a pile of jello so big that if you started sinking into it, you would die. How scary would that be? That would be real Dude, that'd scary. Be, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be the way to go. That'd be I the way did. to go. All right, so rather than resetting the man. server, 
if someone would be the world's nicest man and leave? Um, not. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just first, Nick. Preferably not um, or anybody well, here. I, given how I've been playing, yeah, we could do I elimination. Should. Like, look at our ranks, and one by one, we have to leave the stream. I'm first, <laughs> so. That would be um, yeah. Josh would probably win. For some reason, he's a Trackmania superstar. Man, yes. my computer is acting like real slow right now. I'm worried about your computer, man. I'm a little yeah. bit worried. May uh, as of May first, I should have my regular Northern Lion East computer, which would like stream this stream running this at 1080p 20 times over and not even get warm enough to fucking like keep you from dying in the winter. <laughs> That is, that is typically how people rate uh, warmth. Well, you know, they, <laughs> it's, it's, it's its ability to uh, keep you alive during the. I, I might have to reset the server here because I can't get in. Oh. Uh, no one will ever know of Josh's. Uh, first I, I'm place. basically providing That's you guys with the worst streaming experience and the worst track mania experience. Give me 45 seconds. I'll give you 45 seconds, Josh. Josh, how are you shaving six seconds off of my time? Because I'm the man. I love. I I absolutely love this track. By the way, I would I would love to see your perspective. This is my favorite track. You could probably yeah. load up his ghost and follow him directly. Nor uh, Josh J Smith's of the eyes ghosts on Twitter now. <laughs> oh God damn it! Is, there, is Chris Benoit's ghost on there? <laughs> Chris Benoit's ghost maybe is smiling uh... down from heaven. Sure. I know. I was gonna say, maybe that. Maybe He's that giving vampire. baby Jesus the cross face crippler right now. <laughs> what? I think that was the WrestleMania main event. What's Minecraft? Yeah, I never heard of it. It's basically it's a rip it's off a of patterns. Game. It's a 3D. <laughs> I thought it Dude, was a rip off of Terraria. Yeah, it's like 3D Terraria. Like this guy, I don't know if you know him. He's called Notch. Like some kind of shitty alias. Saw Terraria, yeah, right? and then he was like, you know, like I could just make that in 3D, but even like they easier. Just, uh, they just passed 10 million sales. Ah, it's, that's not even anything, man. <laughs> Isn't it like 30 bucks? No, yeah, it's 26 on PC, but you know, 20 on. That's yeah, only Minecraft like 90% is? of the Sims. Yeah. You're saying Minecraft is that much? Yeah. When, yeah. Well, when it first Fuck came out, that. it was like 10 bucks. I got it for like five or 10 bucks. Yeah, yeah I got it yeah. like when it first came out, and they're like, just so you know. This game's gonna be super expensive, like, pff, yeah, right, whatever. It's just cubes, Finale, man. Like, dude, that's probably the worst part about working in GameStop, is, like, the parents who buy their kids Xbox 360s just so they can play Minecraft. Oh, man. And then I had to go on and explain to them how they need, like, Xbox Live Gold, and I got to buy it online. Wait, that oh, market actually exists? Them. Like, huh? parents buying their kids 360s just so they can play Minecraft? Yeah, dude, it happens at least once a month. Do they not have computers? Uh -oh. No, they do, but they're like, I don't want to get a virus. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even, I wish I was joking. No, it's I so pathetic. Yeah. It's just like when people would buy their kids iPod Touches so they could play Angry Birds. Mm -hmm. Wow. Might as well buy an iPad if you're going to play Angry Birds. Jeez. You need the bigger screen. I feel like I should almost throw this out here. Like, I have literally zero problem with Minecraft. Like. Oh, yeah. No, I love my. I, I, like, I actually like Minecraft a lot. I own the documentary that came out oh, uh, yeah, a yeah. couple months ago. But that was more because I, I like the guy's uh, two-player production. PvP. Y'all know me. I've never played Minecraft. Whoa. Really? It's yeah. too casual for you, Om. I was gonna say, yeah, there's not enough, cause like, we're playing this now, he's like, so uh, when you go into the blue stuff, does it make you go faster, does it slow you down? Like, it's, <laughs> it's racing, you just keep going and not crash. You couldn't assert Ironically, I was kind of I obsessed think. with Minecraft for a while, but it was right before I started doing YouTube series. Oh, I was gonna get uh, the best life of a goddamn night. Don't lie to the people, Josh. Uh, was, oh. you know, I could have been on the left side of the leaderboard, man. Now I'm scum on the right. <laughs> I you can lie to me, bit. just don't I'm lie right to next them. To line. Scum Prime, I'm not even on there. Minecraft is a pretty good roguelike, is what the game chat says. It's true, it's mm -hmm. different every time. Sure. See, what happens to me with Minecraft is I'll play for a few hours, I'll get diamond, and be like, eh, I don't feel like playing anymore. That's bit, yeah. yeah. I, I play I've until like my said, first I've major always... setback. Like I'll build a house and then I'll die and I'll forgot to build a bed or something and I'm like, oh okay, well that was fun. Well, fuck this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's basically I've always said that Minecraft is as good of a game as you are at it. You know what I mean? Like if you know yeah. all the redstone shit and you know mods and all that, then it's a great game. But if you're just gonna play the normal thing, you're gonna get bored. I really like to use it as sort of like a crappy 3D level design simulator, yeah. and I was making all kinds of crazy castles and shit, and I had a lot of fun with that. Castle Crashers? Crazy Castles. That can be like the iOS sequel to Weed Magic. 
Bejeweled weed magic. It's We're not, not calling it Bejeweled weed. That's not gonna test like, well. See, I, I could, I'll be your test. I mean, I'm Jewish, and I'm, I'm not offended by that. See? It's yeah, but we gotta market this to like 50 year old people. They're gonna be offended, but they get offended by everything. Are you trying to say that Jews can't take a joke? I'm trying to yes. say 50 year old people are notoriously sensitive. Yeah, that's true. 51 year olds, totally cool. 49 year olds, my dogs. <laughs> Fifty year olds, exactly though. Uh, I don't trust forty nine year olds. You don't. You wouldn't trust forty nine year olds, Nick. Not really. I wouldn't trust them if I gave them a box of gushers or something and told them not to eat it. How old is? <laughs> <what> is <laughs> I'm gonna eat these fucking gushers. Not, I'm, I'm trying to imagine. Like, I'm trying to imagine an adult eating a box of gushers, and it's just the weirdest. Yeah, thing. Oh, this is gonna be me real one shitty. Day. <laughs> it just looks terrible. It just looks so weird. I'm gonna eat so many gushers. Their mouth uh, like curls up. <laughs> Pretty sure gushers are one of those things that when you buy it at the grocery store, you have to like hire a kid to come with you. So it isn't for it's me. Like, hey, you guys really need to make the I I don't I like you, but I don't rogue like you. you really need to. Make <laughs> I'm gonna that. make the art for that if he wants to go ahead with I, it. Sure, I'll buy yeah. it, dude. I want it. I'll I'll, want I'm it. in. I'll just take the profits. Yeah, that's fine. Hello. There's no way, I, I still gotta get like some kind of fade in. Like, you know how when you go to a movie theater and it does the, well, back in the 90s, did like that THX style, like, I need something like that, like the tuning note of an orchestra to announce that the Northern Lion Live Super Show is starting. So, hey everybody, welcome to the Northern Lion Live Super Show. So I'm just gonna go back to uh, actually a new overlay, which was provided by a fan of the channel on Reddit. Uh, we've got some new overlays that we're gonna show off over the course of this, but first things first, let's actually just call... Nick, a.k.a. Rockley Smile here and see if he's ready. Picked up on the first ring, Nick. I don't know whether to be happy or ashamed. I'm excited, man. <laughs> I had the, the button ready to go. I had my headset on. There's nothing wrong with that, necessarily. Do you know if Josh is ready? I, I bet he is, man. I saw him in the chat before. If so, the then chat, feel right. free to invite uh, that scumbag into this call. We had the... Oh, he's here! And everyone's faces are on the screen now. Gentlemen! Oh, Hello. look who decided to show up. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Josh. I'm here. How are you guys doing? I missed you. I missed you guys, too. I missed I missed everyone. It's been like 10 hours since we hung out it's, together. Yeah, you guys streamed together last long. night, right? Yeah. We streamed separate, and then we streamed together. Yeah, and it was like, that, it was like a streaming ring. docking going on. Nick, how did your YouTube streaming go? Because I saw that there was... You had, like, the same, <laughs> like, period that I had when I first started streaming on YouTube, where it's like, oh, this stream's broken, I guess I have to do this all from, like, step zero again. Yeah, it basically was like YouTube punched me in the face a lot of times, <laughs> and then my teeth were falling out of my mouth, and then I gave up. That's kind of how it was. And then I went over to uh, Twitch, and I used XSplit. <laughs> Did it work things instantly? Were, things were ready in, like, five minutes. <laughs> so I went from, like, four hours of setup to five minutes. It's, so, thanks, it, Google. It's a good process to open the Twitch. Yo, fuck you guys, man. <laughs> we can't talk about this shit live. Oh, man. We're on YouTube right now. Mr. YouTube's going to pick you know up what? his red phone and call me. Mr. I'm going to pick up my red butt and pick <laughs> dump on Mr. You have, like, a baboon ass? Yeah, it's like your ass is gonna be after I'm done with it. I streamed a new Don't Starve update. Yeah. And then I invited Nick and Green9090 to join me in some Jurassic Heart. Oh! <laughs> Pretty special. Which is a dinosaur dating simulator. I even which feel like that makes sense. Lilies. It was... I had a lot of fun with it. I'm gonna put a video up uh, tomorrow. I was playing, uh, I think it was Defiance, I was recording my video for Defiance, which will be up later this week, and my keyboard died, so I just picked up my Xbox 360 controller and, and continued to play, and it was dead for like, maybe 25 minutes, so I had to like, because my Fraps hotkey is tied to it, so I had to just right. like, keep <laughs> stalling and being like, okay, I guess we'll go on another, let's go ahead ride our ATV around the world here, herp did herp. What? And the That's whole point. An amazing backstory. The whole point is? is that nobody should have known because I was being so stealthy right. about it. But then I just told like, you know, probably one fifth of the audience that's even going to watch the video right here. Yeah, I actually I got attacked by wasps in one of my videos, and I never let on. Like real wasps? Yeah, actual wasps. What? My house got infested with wasps what? last infested summer. With wasps? Yeah, we had hundreds of them in the side of the house. And Jesus. At a certain point, they were coming in through the walls, and they were like attacking me while I was recording. It was pretty that scary. Had, so. Scariest thing. You had like, the Amityville horror of wasps 
seeping from your walls during the middle of a recording, and you just that's, went with it. That's life, man. What else are you going to do about it? I was waiting for it to get taken care of. I couldn't really do anything. I wasn't going to stop recording, so I just got to be a man and, you know, Jesus. record with more like you got a wasp, that's a man. That's more than a that's, man. That's the ultimate, man. You are the ultimate warrior, Nick. That in is fact, pretty insane. I can actually link you to a video where you can see me looking to the side as Wasp for Time <laughs> on me. What the fuck? In my, it was in my channel update video in the, the last one I think I did. Yeah, I watch a lot of Sunny. Actually, I've watched the whole thing like three or four times, like really? all of the seasons. I, I was big into It's Always Sunny, uh, but then I stopped watching when I went to Korea, and I, I just kind of fell out of it since then. I haven't really seen an episode in a long time. It's yeah, real easy to get back into. It's like riding a bike. Just watch right. one more new episode and you're going to be fine. But I don't I don't know. Yeah. I don't watch... Do you have Netflix? I do have Netflix. I, I, don't, I don't watch TV, but I don't, yeah. like, not watch TV for any real, like, philosophical reason. You know, people go, oh, I don't even own a TV. Noticed I didn't call it... Or notice I called it TV. TV's... I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to paraphrase this show. G. G. Wentworth. A fan on Reddit uh, made a bunch of new overlays for the stream, so... You guys actually have like some classy looking splashes now instead of just the stuff that I whipped up in Photoshop. Yeah, I oh. saw that when I was coming in, but I started talking and then I forgot to say that I thought it looked awesome. So oh, yeah, dude, just you wait, man. You guys have all got your own individual ones. Oh, Whoa. man. I can't wait. That's, that's scary. That's uncharted territory, man. <laughs> I wish I uh, remember the guy's name. It's like Toka Yomi TV or something like that. I really should have. It's the kind of I, I always feel so shitty, like when I take someone's challenge run, and I'm like, "This was YouTube user, ah, fuck, I don't remember." <laughs> like, thanks for the entertainment. Uh, There's some dude. Might be a chick, but it's all good. It's exactly. usually a dude. Um, You're a dude. But yeah, he's, I'm a dude. He's a dude. He's a dude. <laughs> We're all dudes. Is hey. that the Kel song? Yeah. Yeah, from Good Burger. No, from Keenan and Kel. Yeah, the yes. Keenan and Kel oh. show. Good Burger. Good Burger. It's welcome um, the good burger, home of the good burger, may take your order. No, but he also sings the I'm a Dude song in it. Mm -hmm. Well, you he might want to kill the Werepire told me that you can go get more talking nuts from Go, who's the guy he talked to to go shoot uh, Black Dragon Calamite out of the sky. Nick, you if you love Calamite so much, why don't you marry her? Because she's a dragon, and I'm not a donkey. Rawr! <laughs> I'm a dragon. Ogres are like Funyuns, donkey. <laughs> Do you guys like Funyuns? Oh, How do you guys feel about Funyuns? I, I don't, honestly, I don't think I've ever had a Funyun, They're the Great American Pastime, man. Are they, though? Yeah. <laughs> I, w I like, I like those hot fries more than I, what oh, I yeah, imagine good too. I would like Funyuns. Because I've never had a Funyun. Have you ever had those Dijon pretzel nuggets? Yeah. Yes. Those are real good. Those are, those are some artisanal snacks, Nick. Yeah, they're I don't know if I'm in the tax bracket where I can fucking <laughs> buy Dijon pretzel nuggets yet. What do you call? <laughs> wait, what do you call it when you're when you eat all the all the funyuns? Are you? Not, what, what do you call it, Josh? <laughs> what do you call it? Dunyuns. Oh, fuck oh. you, man. <laughs> I actually probably could have gotten that if what, I would have thought about it. What do you scrape off your grandma's feet every night with a stale funyun? Fungus. Bunions. Bun. Oh. Oh. I tried. Hashtag NLSS. Funyuns are so unhealthy. I don't think. Of People course, it's just a corn-based snack. Concerned about the health. Yeah, Funyuns are just like fried corn with onion powder on them. Yeah. It's like the definition. And I don't know if you could actually devise a snack that's less healthy than that, unless you like fucking dipped it in icing sugar or something. What about pork rinds? Dude, Jesus. pork rinds are actually surprisingly healthy, believe it or not. Oh, because they they're, just they're, sound pretty bad. They're, they're low in carbohydrates and relatively high in protein, but also, yes, saturated fat. They're not good for you, uh, but it's surprisingly not terrible. Which part of the pig is the rind? Well, Unhealthy. technically pigs don't have parts, but uh, <laughs> I'd say we're knee? eating his knee. <laughs> if I had to say anything, I would say we're about to eat his I'll never get the quote right. And Josh is doing a... Uh, Let's plays of any game that has a wagon involved. <laughs> <laughs> Oregon Trail does have a wagon. Awesome. Well, that's not. It true. is a station wagon. Yeah, I'm a silly man. Uh, I do don't starve. Uh, don't oh, that's starve. true. I've been doing that since like crazy beta. I love how the game has changed so much. Except like in the first days of Don't Starve, it was all like, well, I'm not like, there's no sense of me starving. Like, I'm not ever gonna <laughs> starve. <in the> <laughs> And then now, recently, like, the latest episode, I'm actually, like, starving. <laughs> um, I almost died of starvation. This is the evolution of Don't Starve. 
Yeah, dude, the game is actually real fucking difficult. I'm, I'm scared that I'm not gonna be able to, to beat it. Can't beat it. The You'll Jace Smith story. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. The Jace Smith story. If I give you a short list of games with wagons in them, will you make a wagons playlist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I could come up with at least five indie games with wagons in them. There's a station wagon in Cruisin' USA. Really? Is there? Love. Might be I like Cruising. Cruising World is better. Well, they're both they really bad. Too. No way, dude. I love Cruising. <laughs> Please World do not fun. sit here and tell me that you're a fan of the Cruising series. I'm a fan of the Cruising series. You are fucking Cars crazy. Back clips and shit. You can't tell me that's not badass. <laughs> you like the cheerleader at the beginning, right? That's it. Woo! Absolutely. Woo! Like the hot they're yeah. waving their flags. Only if you come in first, like, though. They're jiggly bits everywhere. I probably whacked into that when I was like. Third, maybe 12. Probably one of my earliest whackings. Earliest whackings. Mm, has now earliest followed you on Twitter. Just yeah. Earliestwhackings.com <laughs> earliest sounds like a site I definitely do not want to go to. Yeah. No wonder Josh got the uh, Smashing Pumpkins yesterday or question on Monday. Yeah. I, I didn't, like, it, I realized today that. Both of those songs that you mentioned were by the Smashing Pumpkins, too. Or at least two of them were. What do you mean? Um, the one with Stevie Nicks. Um, oh, Landslide, I guess. That, that was from a different was series of trivia, Pumpkins. though. Yeah, exactly. But then Smashing Pumpkins also did that. And then Cher Brock, or Cher of Yeah, Brock, Bouncer, uh, Billy Corgan, friend of the channel. <laughs> bald man. Bald, yeah, fellow bald he, man. Uh, my bald brother. Fellow bald man. He doesn't have a whole lot going on right now. He's probably still doing all right for himself. Is he? I don't know, I assume that, you know, Smashing Pumpkins used to be fairly popular, if I remember correctly. It's got a lot of melancholy and, like, an infinite amount of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's got the infinite amount of sadness. Yeah. It's a perfect sadness machine. You could probably sell that sadness, really. <laughs> Ohm just said Billy Corgan does furniture commercials now. Well, no. he would know, he lives in Chicago. <laughs> and he spends time bumming around his tea shop in Chicago. <laughs> don't tell me that, that's, that's awesome. What he said. It's over. just like a mini mow. Bill Corgan also runs an indie wrestling company. That's the greatest man of all time. Go to this website. You guys were all tagged. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. No, like, you need to see this website. I'm so happy that we're back in, like, my wheelhouse here in Ann Orlando. <laughs> you were really upset about that. DLC, DLC was just kicking my ass. How'd you like it overall? It was fine. Crazy Mike um, makes a good point. I think you'd like the DLC more if you didn't restrict yourself to level 46. That's probably true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Easy to forget, I was playing it with kind of a handicap there. Yeah, it was like a mandicap. It was so. a mandicap. You know what I'm saying? Bandicamp. Yeah, bandicam. <laughs> you ever have a problem with fraps, Sam? Just, I, let's do a social experiment now. Tweet about how you have a problem with fraps, and then watch everybody who's pirated fraps for like 10 years <laughs> just shit on it and be like, Yeah, oh, use Bandicam or DX, sorry, man. Uh -oh. I actually said Vandicams. I was talking about fish sticks, but I like that you took it to Bandicam. Bandicam, man. Fish sticks. How do you say fish sticks? Fish sticks. Do you like fish sticks? Not really. Oh. Yeah, fish sticks are overrated, man. Fish dicks. They're little and silver. Little dicks. <laughs> They're little and I'm silver? I don't know. I figured they'd fish be silver. Fish dicks seem like they'd be silver, right? This guy has like a pretty good dude. What are you gay fish? <laughs> are we doing the South Park quotes on the stream now? I think so. I guess we did I I'd sing the whole Butters song on Monday. I got something in my front pocket. <laughs> I never would have expected that South Park would even get mentioned on this stream, let alone come up multiple times. I got no well, problem with South Park. No, no. See what it is. I don't really either, but it just doesn't seem like a thing that's topical anymore. Uh, so I guess we kind of go all over the place. So yeah, we, we go we go from docking to other sexual innuendos, and then occasionally media that we like, and then back to docking and. <laughs> Dark Souls for a little while. Yeah, we, we cover the whole gamut of games we like, sexual innuendos, and things we've seen recently. Yeah, I mean, we talked about some video game things today. Yeah, this is the easiest thing in the world. You guys ready? Hey, Crazy uh -huh. Mike is one follower away from 500. Why not give him a shout out to help it along? I like that guy. And he's got 500. There we go. <laughs> There's a Crazy Mike overlay as well that was created. That's the problem with Dota, man. If you like publicize who you are, 
if you have any kind of notoriety, then the other team oftentimes will just fucking like super try hard and like five man gank you middle, which never happens in like a standard public game. It's one of the reasons I stopped playing the game is because people would be like, are you Northern Lion? And then all of a sudden I'm getting like 30 dudes just spamming me with their attacks. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Is then you, but your name on there was Dr. Uh, Steve Brule. Doctor. Who? Doc, doctor. That one YouTube doctor guy. Doctor Who? No, Doctor Who is Doctor Who gives a shit. <laughs> wow. And his retardus. Doctor Who gives a <laughs> shit and his retardus. <laughs> wow. I've never heard that before. <gasps> Ru Rule Steve Doctor. Rule. Steve I said Rule. that like tw ten times. Oh really? Yeah. I don't need that. I didn't know that. Well, I knew that. I knew it internally, like deep within. So I just had to do some soul searching. <laughs> Did you just do LMB laugh? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> you think that's funny? I always think it's funny. Do you not think it's funny? Yeah. <laughs> Your coffee maker accounts are yelling, Anna. Yeah, I was hoping I, I made some coffee before the stream, but I think the coffee maker was turned off. Instead of making well, the beeping noise, which that ain't right, man. Luckily, Ryan's coffee maker said "beep beep, motherfuckers" a minute ago, so yeah, it, th it might be ready. That guy's got his heart's in the right place, but he does just literally tweet me like ten messages that say "beep beep" within like <laughs> five minutes. Well, sometimes. is it? But the, there's there's two coffee maker accounts. Yeah, and they're going and head so to head. So this coffee maker accounts is saying you beep, know, beep, 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 beep 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 beep. Who knows? That was uh. Dueling banjos, but with the coffee maker noise. <laughs> Nels Anderson from Clay, again Mark the Ninja designer, just retweeted: West Vancouver police are headed to Park Royal Mall for the report of a male masturbating in the women's shoe aisle. That is again. awesome. <laughs> Why don't we ever masturbate in the women's shoe aisle? You just hadn't thought of it. I haven't. It's now now the world is your right oyster. <laughs> Think about all the places you can go and masturbate now. With shoes. You knew the internet would be What the hell coffee. am I doing in Dota? I have just <laughs> no idea. What, what is it asking you to do? Are you like. I don't even know. I've transcended Bless all the you. instructions. There's like a parrot telling me to go places, and there's a dude trying to sell me stuff, and there's these monsters I keep murdering. Okay, now I can buy bracers. He keeps wanting me to buy stuff a lot. Yeah, that's, that's how Dota works, man. By buying stuff, you actually become stronger. Is there might. an option to just have it auto buy? Oh, you casual thing. scum! Did you see I'm it? Scared to refresh my YouTube page after I just said that casual thing. Oh, you'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, I know I lost 200 subscribers. <laughs> 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 that's like that's like you invested all your subscribers in bitcoins today. You know, because yeah, the, the, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin market doing Josh. It crashed, man. Yeah, freaking! I had to ask Beeves and Brad all about it. Like, um, the main website went down. Or something, so no one even knows like what the price of it right now. But apparently it was at like 250 the other day, but now it's down to like 125. Did you try investing in gold? <laughs> now Northern Lions asshole has followed me on Twitter. Uh oh, we've entered a new era uh -oh. of debauchery. It's still not the grossest thing that's followed you on Twitter. Though. Are you shitting me? I'm oh my God! Ready. Why is Dota 2 not installed? Oh no. Uh, Kate must have uninstalled it after she played it. And everyone on my friends list just started playing Dota 2. <laughs> and been like, fuck this game. Kate <laughs> says, I uninstalled it, but he found his way again. So there, the truth is, comes out now. <laughs> Can you start playing Dota 2 regularly and start raging? I certainly hope not. Uh, You're, like, I feel like this is... We're going to get you back on the wagon. Might here. be my relapse, yeah. I was kind of worried right. about that. Alright, so I, I'm booting Dota 2 right now, so if the screen regions get a little messed up, don't worry about it. Oh man, this feels- Oh, I'm relapsing! It's really loud, also. <laughs> what was that, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, like? <laughs> I see the man's bald head, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember this. <laughs> and he looks at you, it's scary. Yeah, if you're a big puss, maybe. I'm a big puss. It's true. At least it isn't a spider, man. What's wrong with puss? What's wrong with puss? I don't have enough puss in my life. Wow. <laughs> it's gross. That's why Nick's gonna grow up to be a crazy cat lady. That's right. Dota is still booting here. What is it doing? I know, man. It's the first time it's loading. It's loading in all the strategy. Sounds like it's loading. <laughs> wow. 
I'm pretty silly. I had uh, both Green and Ohm Record sending me strategies over Skype while I was playing the tutorial, but I was in sensory overload mode, so I didn't realize Skype was sending me things. <laughs> sensory overload mode. Yeah, because I was talking on the stream and I was also playing that, and then I also had Tweet Deck going next to me. It's a lot of things at once. With this, these streams are technical marvels, man. We need somebody to get a fucking TriCaster. <laughs> That's never gonna happen, by the way. <laughs> get a Stratocaster. Tricaster. Yeah, yeah we'll get a Tricaster and a Stratocaster. Yeah, we'll play music. Tricasters are fifteen thousand dollars, so that's not that much. You know, maybe if I get to fifteen million subscribers, I'll buy a Stratocaster for. Uh, no, I'll buy a Stratocaster <laughs> and a Tricaster. I'll buy you three Stratocasters and tape them together. Mike Fox can play drums. Will you play Stratocaster? Did you see the vine of him playing drums on his uh, couch? No, I didn't. Yeah. That sounds funny, though. <laughs> Did you put your mic close to your mouth? Yeah. These fucking valve settings, man. Um, why don't you guys get these ding-dongs in on the call, and you can host it for a second. I've got a urinate. There's one ding-dong coming in. Hey. Hello. Hey. It's Mr. Green 9090. Hi. Greetings. Hey. Um, dude, you should have let him piss when it was really loud. Oh, God, that, that would have been, been so good. good. Yeah. Oh, it would have well. been like being there. We yeah. could have been in that. We've been like being in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Man, they call this thing a live stream for a reason. <laughs> That's good. I've used that joke uh, before. I heard you being. <laughs> I heard. Oh, you. We get the secret Skype tunnel to the P sound. Oh, did you like mute mute to uh, XSplit? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Scumbag Valve thinks they should have control over my audio settings. I know. There's a setting in your computer that allows you to just make it so programs can't do that. Yeah, I can tell you where that is too if you want me to later. The setting should be called and being an adult who has used the computer for like more than <laughs> six months. <laughs> right. and also, you can tab out and adjust it when you're in game too. Mm. Jay Smith is. Jay Smith, you seem to be offline. Whoa. Josh. Josh. You gotta go out of busy. He might not be. Or out of offline. He might not be online Josh. right now. Like, is he on Skype still? Just gotta ruin everything. Somebody Maybe. killed him and then logged him out of his Steam account. People He's are saying the him. game has made me louder. That's not true, man. I just get yeah, angrier exactly. as soon as I see these this like trademark <laughs> Dota 2 red. Where is Joshua? I think he broke something. Yeah. He broke something. He says he broke something. Broke his dong. <laughs> Put it in a <laughs> hot pocket. Should never have docked that cat. Worst case scenario, we could jump into one, but then he'd be waiting for like 40 minutes. Yeah. Do you have his phone number? Less. Can you call him and be like, what's... I can, do you want me to call him on the telephone right now? That might do be speaker phone. Yeah, okay, I'll, speaker I'll call phone. him on the telephone right now. All right. Tell him he's, tell him he's won a million dollars in a sweepstake. <laughs> no, no, just blast him with a foghorn. <laughs> you won the Carnival Cruise, blah, blah. Yeah. Tell him That's we'll play Cruise one. in Exotica instead of Dota if he comes back. <laughs> <laughs> this is costing me long distance. So you fuckers <laughs> better have ad block off. Oh, it is because you're not in uh, the U.S., huh? Oh, I could have called him. It's all good. It's all gravy. Yeah, think of all the extra viewers you're getting for this. This is the first call. live phone call we've done on the stream. Yeah, yeah. man. It's pro. <laughs> we should just do prank calls as one of the things. We should. Hey. Hi, Josh. Josh, I'm hey, calling Josh. you on the telephone right now. What are you doing? I'm back. You weren't supposed to answer on oh. Skype. I wasn't supposed to what? <laughs> we had a <laughs> moment of, of humor playing. Skype screwed us all up. <laughs> I was wondering I why he could hear us. <laughs> Josh, get in our party, you ding dong. All in progress. What happened, Josh? Yeah. I. All right, so I exited Flux. You know, like that that one program that makes your dashboard yeah. all kind of orange and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, but when I exited. There was like this. Thing that kind of like floating on my my desktop is like exit flux and I'm like I did exit flux get off my desktop and it wouldn't get away um so like it was just kind of stuck there so what I did was I tried to like switch users you know kind of like lock the computer Log and out. then go back in yeah. but then like my computer is just like you can't do that and I said oh well I guess <laughs> I'll just have to restart you and then that's what I did get on Dota get on, man like, oh my god what is your display picture Bill and Ted. Oh, yes, okay. That makes sense. 
<laughs> I was looking at it. It looked like an old hip hop album cover or something. <laughs> that's what I exactly what I thought. <laughs> I like that all of ours other ones though are all our YouTube pictures. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Works yeah. out. What is, what is your picture? Me? Yeah. It's my face with a whole bunch of pixels over it. <laughs> what? What? I have a back a while ago when I was in college. I made a portfolio site of myself for my own work and shit, and I had a picture of my face like all torn up with rainbows coming out of it. And so I took that and I put a mosaic of pixels over the top of that, and it just it's in there. Sorry, it looks like a diseased potato. <laughs> a so diseased potato. All it looks, diseased all it looks potato. like is just a bunch of fucking purple and yellow squares. But that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't really want it to be obvious. It's art, man. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's deep. I like sort of veiled stuff. There we oh, go, Dash is here. Oh, hey. fuck you, finally. I'm Luna. So as weirdly disastrous as the stream has been so far, there's a chance it might even get worse because... You know, it's, it's April, people are moving out, and we are actually doing a showing of our place. It was supposed to be at 7, but they'd originally RSVP'd for 6. Really? We told them, don't show up at 6. <laughs> but there is a chance <laughs> that they might show up at 6. <laughs> and just and I'll be like, sorry, I'm at work right now. Doesn't look like it, but I'm at work right now. I think I found the perfect game to play when my keyboard's broken. Like, my keyboard's just straight broken right now. Already moving. Really? But doesn't matter, man. That might be, so that's gonna be what gets me back into Dota. That's gotta be really hard to play this then. It's gonna be real hard. What just happened? Are we live again? Uh, Nick, I apparently I walked too close to them. Yeah, Nick is feeding a lot. Dude, they they you gotta, you gotta stay back. Game, game is safe to leave. Oh. No, fuck. just reconnect. We could still win this. I I don't think we should try to. So you crashed? Yeah, the just computer just like decides fuck you. First they came for the keyboard, and I didn't say anything because I was not a keyboard. My mic's all fucked again? Yeah. <laughs> this shit, man. This computer. What? The Valve games. It's more like a scum pewter. <laughs> it is a scum pewter. Scum prime pewter. Oh my god, my, <laughs> my computer is so loud right now. <laughs> it's gonna oh, give man. up, man. I mean, I, I think... Yeah, oh, oh god. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Hello, alright, apologies again for the technical issues, let me just let people know that we are live again. Uniform. Well, well, well. Hello? Dick. Uh oh, I think Skype is actually broken. Yeah, Skype has crashed, alright, fantastic. <laughs> yes, but uh, you guys are just becoming like big robots for me. Ring, 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 ring. Banana foo. So I tried to call you guys on Skype and then it crashed on me. That seems to be a trend. Yeah, I'm, I'm living in pure technical difficulties hell, basically. I was there the other day. Luckily, there's an NCIX sale coming up uh, this weekend, so I guess I'll just go buy new everything. Yeah. So how did the Dota game go? Did you guys win? Yeah, we're oh, real good. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like... That was one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. It was Me really too. bad. So, Hello. I'm trying to ease you into it because this is the Northern Lion Live show. Hey there. I really feel like... Now that I'm doing these calls live, I should be like, put up your overlay, and then have some kind of like fanfare that I can play whenever you pick up, like dun 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 dun. That'd be you know. pretty sweet. How's it going, YouTube.com/slash Rockley Smile? It's going pretty good. How's it going with you, YouTube.com/slash Northern Lion? <laughs> That's good branding right there. It's going, it's going pretty well. Uh, you know, uh, woke up a little bit late this morning, and then uh, took a look at a place that maybe Kate and I are going to rent, but probably not likely because it wasn't uh -huh. really to our liking but still it's nice to get out it's a beautiful day uh here in vancouver not sure about how it is over in uh the, the zoo york right <laughs> <laughs> you're almost going for boondocks i, think, I don't even know what i was the... going for there to oh. be honest it's the, the city that never sleeps man yeah there's no city here i'm up on a mountain oh uh, it's, it's all the same thing yeah i'm like three hours away from the city oh still... well you're closer than i am yeah i guess <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a pretty kind of overcast, but still sort of warm day. Ah, uh, that's acceptable, I feel. Fine. What have you been playing lately? Uh, I've been playing uh, 
blogging and looking at lots of context menus and setting up shit online. Whoa. <laughs> That's the game of life, man. Yeah, I, I hardly got to play. Actually, I haven't played anything in like two days now. It's pretty weird. I've been doing a lot of uh, administrative behind-the-scenes junk. Well, you know, that's important, too. Yeah. You know, the, the expression, you know, you take care of the, the pennies and the pounds take care of themselves. Is that an expression? I'm not familiar with that Not one. Not in North America, because we don't oh, okay. use that kind of currency, but... You know, you know I'm a very worldly <laughs> man. Oh, well, I know. I just haven't heard that one at all. I consume all sorts of media from other... English-speaking countries, because I'm intimidated by other languages. I consume all sorts of meat, yeah. You know, I also consume all sorts of meat. <laughs> that, is that supposed yeah. to be funny? You think that's... You were saying you were saying on Isaac the other day about how you needed to be very self-aware uh, when you say anything with some sort of a level of sexual overtone, and that was one of those times. That's true. I'm telling you, man, as long as you... Making if, it big. if you point it out, that's an extra, like, 20 subscribers. In fact, if you All want right, to turn that 20 if you want to turn that 20 subscribers into 200, just add like a call to action afterwards. If you also consume a lot of meat, <laughs> <laughs> then go subscribe to my channel here. There's a link in the video description. If you you big, need to be able to put links in the stream description. Exactly. In, I, the, I, in the uh, actual <laughs> annotations live. Yeah, you have to set it up so that you can only link to like your official website. So I, I there have been right. times when I'm like, should I set my official website as twitter.com/northernlionlp? Probably not. Hurt. I mean, what? You can take it back off, right? I, I think so, but you never know, man. I set mine up, and I just haven't used it at all. But yours is for indie impressions, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a website, but so is Twitter. I wish you could insert annotations live into the stream. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Because I think that would be particularly beneficial when we do these, like, shout-outs at the end. Mm -hmm. Rather than have people try to click these, like, or, you know, take these tiny pieces of branding and then uh, type it into their own browser. I guess you could put it in the description, too. You could, yep. I, I'm really lazy with these uh, well, streams. Well, no, it's fine. I, just, well, I didn't even think of that until just now. Yeah, you know, but you, you've got a point. That's probably a, a valuable tool. I'm, all I do is I put my Twitter or Twitter link in the description. And now we're, we're it's so meta, man. We're doing, like, a call to action now. There's a Twitter <laughs> link in the description. Go check that out if you want to see more docking action. So for people wondering, I am getting a lot of questions here on uh, Twitter.com slash LP. Uh, about when Josh is coming, and all I got from Josh, I got a tweet from him that says late, comma, etc. Probably just laundry again. Yeah, exactly. Dude forgot to do his laundry on Monday, Monday, so now he's got to jump into that. Well, he did it on Monday, and I think he did it again on Tuesday. Really? <laughs> no, I don't know. What a guy! <laughs> just making shit up. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's coffee maker says, "Hey, I'm currently in Kingston." What should I do except break into the jail? For those who don't know, my, my hometown, which I do not live in anymore, uh, is famous for having a university and famous for having literally seven jails. Uh, so, you know, this is good. It's really weird. If you're in Kingston and you're okay with uh, some food that is not necessarily Western, I would encourage you to check out some of the Cambodian and Thai restaurants. That's one of Kingston's best kept secrets. Uh, is that it's got a, a really bustling like Cambodian and Thai scene. The, the best Cambodian and Thai food that I have eaten uh, in my entire life. I've never been to Cambodia or Thailand, but you know I have been to a number of big cities. Uh, you know Toronto, Vancouver, New York, etc. I've never had better Thai food than I've had in Kingston for whatever reason. So is the trick that because there are so many jails in Kingston, there are no other jails for many miles in every direction? <laughs> Actually, like d directly outside of Kingston, maybe like ten minutes down the road, there is another jail. I don't know what it is, man. What? It, I don't think there's a particularly high incidence of crime in <laughs> Kingston, Ontario. Uh, but there is a, a huge incidence of there being jails. That's really weird. There's, so it's some sort of, like, funding misappropriation? Yeah, like? I don't know. If, if Kingston was like, you know what, we'll, we'll, take the, we'll lie on that grenade for a bunch of government funding. As it, we'll house the jails, but we'll also get some kind of, like... I don't know, tax... Stipends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, the, one of the jails actually looks a lot like um, the castle at Disney World. Uh, and it was also featured in the original Superman movie when Lex Luthor breaks out of jail. Wow. As far as I know, scenes there, or that scene was originally filmed at the uh, Kingston Penitentiary. Or maybe it was... I don't, I don't... There's so many jails, I actually don't know the original names. <laughs> there's so many jails. I, like, not... There's a Kingston Penitentiary, but I'm not sure if that's the big one. I'm awash in a sea of jails. <laughs> Basically. 
So when I said that I haven't played any games in days, I mean, obviously take that with a grain of salt, because I played Dota 2 for the first time yesterday, and oh, I yeah. wish I could just forget about that entire incident. That was not pleasant. <laughs> it didn't go well. Um, no. Okay, I'm going to take a second here, because my headset is telling me my batteries are low. Oh, no. Uh, but it's okay. I have, like, 70 batteries here, so I'll That's be back. That's a lot of batteries. You can still hear me. I'm just moving across the room. I can't Shout hear you, though, because... Northern Lion's battery pile. <laughs> the headset... <laughs> Takes like 10% of its battery power when it gets low to shout battery low every 10 seconds. Oh, that's useful. Alright, so I'm just gonna put this in here. <laughs> you you own the stream said. for a little while. I can't hear you right now, but you guys can hear me. I How's just going, made a really everybody? witty joke. And Northern Lion doesn't Northern even Lion's know. power supply is just follow me on Twitter. Red Northern Panda Gamer says he's pile, number man. one in the Binding the of Isaac on a Raptor, which is a site that m measures the amount of game time or play time you have in a game. Looks like somebody needs to sign up for a Raptor account. Tweeted a picture of a dude that shaved some Raptors into his beard, and I thought that was pretty sweet. I saw that. That was crazy. Yeah, I'm thinking about shaving something into my beard now. Kate got mad at me today because I, I tweeted it. I thought it was just like the most beautiful prose or poetry that I've ever heard. She's <laughs> like, you shaved so close to my toothbrush that my toothbrush is now a hairbrush. And I was like, that's, that's really good. <laughs> Possibly that unintentional, but still awesome. Isn't there a new Iron Man coming out soon? Yeah, Iron Man uh, 4. I thought it was 3. Nah, they skipped straight to 4. Oh. Third the movies don't test well, man. Spider-Man 3, <laughs> X-Men 3. We decided right. the common theme between all of those was they were the third movie. Well done. Yeah, just skip that one. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm still psyched for it. I, I think Iron Man's the only superhero movie aside from maybe Batman that I get really excited about when there's a new one. I Yeah, I, I like... Uh... I like the, the Iron Wit. Man movies as well. I really liked Iron Man 1. I liked Iron Man 2 more than most people, I think. I think I did as well. The wit in that series is very high. Very much so. It. Returning with newfound cards against humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need more uh, more cards in the Northern Lion deck related to Dark I agree. Souls. It makes I me kind of feel bad I deleted like 80% of them. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, at the same time, a lot of them were just nonsensical. Well, we're coining new memes, like, by the minute here, so I'm sure we'll have Absolutely true. The inside jokes just, uh, you know, they come fast and furious. They do come fast and, and, and furious. I was just going to say, yeah, now we've got a white card coming fast and furious. Like Vin Diesel. Coming quickly and furiously. Vin Diesel on your face. There is another, um, there's a Fast and Furious video game coming out from the Activision Excellent. Video Game Corporation. Someone on Twitter just asked, didn't someone throw up watching Northern Lion play Cards Against Humanity? Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty wild fact to be able to say that as far as we know, that's actually legit. <laughs> they took a picture of it too? Nick, yeah. have you seen this? Did you play Far Cry 3? I didn't actually. The Blood Xbox Dragon One. looks fucking Arcane. crazy. It looks insane. Like, I saw the, the pre-order screenshot for it, which NerdCube just tweeted out literally 24 seconds ago. Uh, wow. is, like, a, the dude from Far Cry wearing, like, some Cyclops-style Ray-Ban futuristic glasses. There's, like, a dragon behind him, and he's shooting a ray gun. And it, people are, like, it's been blowing up Twitter no. lately. <laughs> I think it's taking the same kind of, like, Saints Row-style, like, yeah. we're gonna go crazy absurd, and I'm actually kinda into that. Dubstep gun, man. Exactly. The way of the future. These are gonna get really played out real fast, though. Oh, yeah, eventually one of these games is gonna be just really bad, and people are gonna be like, uh... Yeah, we don't want that anymore. And then everything's gonna go super gritty realistic again. Maybe maybe it's a good thing for thing. Grand Theft Auto V. If it comes out in, like, September, and people are... Mm -hmm. Like, if Blood Dragon just totally goes too far. Well, we already know GTA knows it can differentiate, differentiate itself from Saints Row by just not being ridiculous. True, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the onus is not on Grand Theft Auto, necessarily. They're kind of holding the, uh, the status quo by being the way they are. Right, correct. Yeah. That was the weirdest thing. Pretty psyched parody. for that game, too. Grand Theft Auto V? Yeah, I'm not, like, crazy into 4 that much, but I think that one looks a lot better to me for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Grand Theft Auto series. And, you know, I just kind of... Rockstar is one of the very few yeah. uh, publishers that kind of has carte blanche to do whatever they want. Yeah. I mean, Red Dead Redemption gets all the kudos. Absolutely. I haven't played uh, L.A. Noire. But yeah, that has, it gets a few less kudos, but it still gets a lot for amazing presentation, and the animation in that game, like, really kind of made me question why other people haven't picked that idea up at this point. Yeah, well, Team Bondi just kind of imploded, like, right after that came out. Uh-huh. Like, there was some, they, they started, uh, 
doing interviews and basically like shit talking Rockstar, and then Rockstar came out with like detailed kind of financials of what happened. And anyway, so why didn't they just license the technology for that mocap? Because goddamn, people would want it. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Invaded the world of Clayman five five five. Did you ever play uh, Clay Fighter? I did. That's a uh, game. I was big on uh, the Blob and Blue Suede Goo. I was big on the Snowman. What was his name? Frosty. I can't remember, but now I'm realizing that Blue Suede Goo is just a, a great name. Yeah, <laughs> it's a really good name. That's kind of the only reason I liked him. I don't know if you can come out with that game in like 2013, because the whole point of it no. is like, hey. These like poly polygonal shapes kind of look like <laughs> they should, like like an actual clay figure. If they want to redo uh, the Clay Fighter series and start like do a reboot, they need to hire me for it because I'm pretty sure we could make that thing really successful. All you need to do is make it all about custom characters, like a fighter maker. Yeah. But fun, and let you build characters out of clay and then procedurally animate them like uh, Spore or something. That strikes me as as a very fun idea. And done. Yeah, there we go. A really All good right. netcode, and you just made a really successful game. <laughs> and then we'll send a copy to PewDiePie, and then... Uh... Oh, the dicks will be everywhere. <laughs> the dicks will be everywhere regardless of what he has to do with it. Hello? Hey. Hey. What is... Hey, guy. What is up with that? <laughs> Whoa. You're, you're, you're Michael L. Foxing me. Yeah, it totally you're sounded like Fox for a second. <laughs> <laughs> is he there? <laughs> ah. Dang dongs. <laughs> That's your impression. Uh, I'm fucking exhausted, man. I'm tired of shit right now. Yeah, I know how that is. Yeah. Me too. I finished up another run of Oregon Trail. So wow. Video Scumbag Josh only plays the same game over and over and over. I know, right? All eight episodes. <laughs> You're right. I want to see a 30 part series on Jurassic Heart. Dude, Jurassic Heart. I, I haven't because the the views are stuck at 3:03 right now, but yeah. they're out there oh. for a while. They'll so. be real good tomorrow. I'm I'm hoping it's, it'll be good. Dude, there's like a bunch of comments where like I can't believe this dude was serious about playing Jurassic like a dino dating game, and I was like, yeah. I can't believe they didn't think you were serious. I know exactly. <laughs> like how would I, how could I possibly joke about that? How could I make that up? The whole premise was just really serious business. I mean, he couldn't reach the strings on his <laughs> guitar, <laughs> ukulele. For you, the day I played Jurassic Heart was the most significant day of your life. <laughs> For me, it was Wednesday. Yesterday, I cried. That's a sad song, right? From the oh, movie. yeah. Well, if it isn't, it is now. This sounds like Nadia Imbruglia. Nad Nadia Imbruglia. Nadia. Natalie Imbruglia. Yeah. I can see the perfect torn. sky is torn. is torn. She's lying naked on the floor, guys. Yesterday I Dude. cried. This is She's the like, Jay Smith song. I don't know why I, I tried. This song I, fucking sucks. <laughs> I think I Wikipedia Natalie Imbruglia like a month ago. How do you spell it? Like N A D I L Y A. You just, no, you just, you just kind of mash the keyboard. I N B R E U. J K semicolon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and and her you her, her Wikipedia page turns up, but apparently she just she's a a soap 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 on a rope. No. <laughs> soap soap. But soap up. opera actress in like Australia or something. I believe it. Uh, yeah, so that's where her life is. Is that like a lateral career move? Or? I think if you get like a number one hit. Top charts in America to yeah. soap. But, I mean, very few people are able to sustain a career of that oh. kind of like yeah. height, right? Like getting one huge hit. You probably. That would be like if I just had a video come out tomorrow and it got like 8 million views in a month. I'd be like, you know yeah. what? I'm probably never going to hit that height again. And I can live with mm -hmm. that. Right, but then you can still make a pretty decent career doing like soap commercials. Well, I think part of the problem might be that Natalie and Brulia kind of sucks. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that you don't use soap. I use it's the opposite, man. I don't use shampoo. You don't need shampoo. Exactly. Wait, soap and soap and shampoo are opposites. People always get on. They they think it's so funny. Right? They're like, "Hey, do you use shampoo or soap on your head? Because you're bald." And I'm like, "I use soap on my head." And they're like, "Oh, that's so weird. I use shampoo on mine." And then I'm like, "Well, what do you use on your hairy ass legs, you big gorilla? Do you use soap or shampoo?" They're always like, "Soap," and I'm like, "Oh, that's funny." 
You got hair on your skin, but you don't use shampoo to clean it. Wow, we're so different. Oh, man. It's a problem with hypocrisy, man. That's all I'm saying. There should be, like, more hippopotamuses in the involvement of hypocrisy. Uh, hypocrisy? There should be more hippogriffs. Yeah, there should be more hippogriffs. What, what's a hippogriff? Where's the world coming to when, you know, you can't have enough hippogriffs? What does that even mean? Those things are brutal, man. Did you see what they did to that fish in Harry Potter? Oh. Nah, I don't know what a hippogriff is. We're talking about that. No, hippogriffs are just general fantasy lore. I mean, they're not from Harry Potter. Are they like, like a chimera well, like or something? They're a mixture it's of like two different eagle, animals? It's like a half eagle, half lion or something, right? That's every... That a griffin. Am amazing amount of imagination in the fantasy community. Uh, every half animal something. that they create is like half something, half something else that already exists. Well, we I think made this box, hippogriffs and lions. but it's half... And, uh, fish. Griffins. It should be like fish. half squid, half box. Bear. It should be like half crocodile, half duck. Half bear, half weasel. No, half bear, half democracy. I feel like there's a good joke there, but I can't figure it out. Obviously, none of us can. <laughs> I think someone just Bureau fell with a bunch bear of office? glass upstairs. It's almost like a bureaucracy, but a bureaucracy. Wait, the dude with the bag of glass fell up the stairs? I think so, man. That's the thing, when it comes to Kickstarter rewards, there's all, the lowest one is usually just like naming the credits and I'm like, nah. And then there, it usually goes like 10 or there's $15 is like, yeah, the, the game. And then one level above that is like early access. And I'm like, I want one of these too. But then after that, they start adding these extras that I don't consider important. But then when they get to the physical extras, I'm like, yeah, I'm into that, but I don't want to pay $200 for it. Right. For Prison Architect, I, I pledged, I think, 50 bucks. So, what they did for that, it wasn't through Kickstarter, but a similar kind of model. Uh, I, I got to, like, write a bio for a prisoner. So now, you could possibly find me in Prison Architect. There's this bald man, see? Well, you write He's the bio, and, like, you, you can tailor their uh, appearance and stuff like that. So, I, I wrote up, like, a fake bio about how I, like, stabbed my mom 400 times because of the Binding of Isaac, you know? Can you make it so they have, like, some sort of custom AI attributes, like your guy always clogs the toilet or something? <laughs> he always clogs the toilet. He shits or you. That would be great. I put a video so up good. on YouTube every day, uh, including today's video of Jurassic Heart, which according to someone's tweet just now, the Jurassic Heart was the great shit I've seen all week. So you can take that <laughs> at face value. Um, <laughs> the great shit. But it is the great shit he's seen all week. Is it about like a dinosaur who's in love with a woman or like the other way around? It's kind of like the other way around. Yeah, you're the you, woman. You, you find love between yourselves. You find yourself <laughs> in love with a dinosaur, inexplicably. I fell right. in love with a raptor. Yeah, it's like fell in love with a stripper. At some point, I'm gonna license out some, uh, like, explosion effects, and then I'm just gonna introduce those into the stream, and like, as you guys are talking, I'm just gonna make the stream explode, like, every ten seconds. <laughs> That's amazing. Get a soundboard, man. I'm gonna yeah, get a soundboard. Rest assured. We wouldn't be able to know because we keep the stream That's on. That's true. But That's, when we yeah, watch but... it back in the VOD, it's going to be amazingly hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what did I just hear? Oh, oh never mind. It was the... Changing oh, weapons. No. I'm retarded. It's okay. I, I opened this... up a new tab and it was like an ad on that tab. Oh, and I was yeah. like, am I hearing something? Was it and an ad on, just... on my stream? It may have been. Yes. <laughs> Money in the I saw bank. Napoleon Dynamite in my head doing a fist <laughs> pump. Equip the claw here because I'm a big fan of. Is that liar liar? The claw, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. Was, I knew it was either Jim Carrey or Adam Sandler. You're scared of the claw. Rah. I wouldn't actually be scared of this claw though. Well, that was when the lame guy was trying to do the claw. He was oh. The first <laughs> <answer>. <laughs> yeah, I, that's what I love about those rom coms, man. Is like the stable guy. Is mm -hmm. like the asshole, like the dude who's a total fucking like liar, and he like cheats on his wife, and like never makes it to anything that his kid does. Is the is the nice guy, uh, and the dude who's like, hey, I got a stable job, and I want to raise your kid as if it's my own. He's the dude you're like, oh fuck that guy. <laughs> he thinks he's so smart, like. <laughs> right. That really is how they position it too. He thinks he's so smart. Yeah, it's always like, oh, this. Yeah, okay, maybe he d he's not there for his son, but at least he's not a smug bastard like this guy. Well, it's always like at least he's got character, <laughs> unlike this boring guy that should just die because he's boring. I want to kind of mention this uh, Vivian Clark Kickstarter. 
and I don't know if uh, Ryan, if you know this game specifically yet, but this is the hidden <laughs> I game saw it, yeah. that you find inside a Soda Drinker Pro, and it's pretty freaking weird. Uh, I kind of liked it actually. It was not what I was expecting it to be, although I have no idea how I was expecting anything of it. You start out as a raindrop. Whatever you land on, you become. Maybe you land on a bird, so now you're a bird. Maybe that bird crashes into a flying snake who tells you to go into space. Maybe the Maybe flying that's... snake is eaten by Dwayne the Rock Johnson. It's not any less plausible than what actually goes on in the game, so <laughs> that's kind of the idea. And it's just this really surreal, abstract craziness uh, where you just never know where you're going to end up. And the goal is to just find all of the different situations you can end up in. Sort of like the picture wall in Antechamber, where you try to fill up all the different posts that it could be, you do that, only you try to go in all the different roles. As always, these, at work. these streams just come together like right at the last minute every time. Even I, I did the trivia for this at like 2.52, because I got home from that like housing appointment. How was the housing appointment? Tell me ah, about it was housing a little bit disappointing. The house was? Yeah. Is it an actual house or is it an apartment? It's a or basement apartment in a house, which is not It's ideal. another basement apartment? Yeah, I mean, the real estate in Vancouver is super expensive. So, you know, anything, I mean, even this would cost us, like, probably $1,000 a month. That's not bad. It's, I mean, it's not terrible, but... Um, we're in, are you in the city? We're, yeah, we're like a 10-minute bus ride from downtown. You should. That's not bad. And the bus system's fine, but... But you're in Canada, there's like two people. What do you mean there's One two of them's the people, bus driver. Two people in Canada. What yeah. city do you live in, motherfucker? Look it up, see, what, see whether Vancouver has more people. Then Charlotte? Yeah. I don't want to. Yeah, do it. No, you do it, man. <laughs> you do it. What are you doing with your life right now? Streaming video games? Exactly. I'm, I'm at work right yeah. now, motherfucker. <laughs> you <are>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just joshing. That reminds me, there was this dude in school. He was a grade above me, so my brother's grade. Zach okay. Smith, friend of the channel. Um, <laughs> Not really. <laughs> His brother of the channel. Uh, it'd be fun to play Cards Against Humanity with. There be. is this one dude, um, and he thought that he was like the greatest rapper of all time. And so, like, you know, just totally like lame, lame kid. Um, but like one of his laps where he was like, I'll hunt you down, put you in the ground. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is the worst thing. And that's, and you just reminded me of that, so thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> There's a kid who used to ride my bus, like, I lived way out in the country when I was younger. And, mm -hmm. so I was in, like, 11th grade or something, I think he was in 9th grade, and he would always upload these videos of him just, like, smoking weed and then doing awful freestyle <laughs> raps into his webcam. And he's, oh, like, wow. and it's one of those, I, I love the, the, the bravado involved in the quote-unquote rap game, uh, where even if you haven't done anything or had any kind of success at all, every... Uh, like upstart rapper is all about just talking about how successful they are. So he, the kid's in like ninth grade. He just like smokes a bowl and then freestyles the worst thing I've ever heard. And he's like, "Yeah, 2009, Jordan. MC Sean, Year of the Sean." <laughs> and you're just like, "You haven't done anything. Nobody knows you exist. You can't. You you get to brag after you get the success, not before." Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure he works at Dairy. Hey, that's not funny. Nothing wrong hey. with Dairy Queen, but... No, oh, Dairy Queen's a totally cool place. It probably gets... You wanna know something funny? Yeah. Uh... Twitter confirms that Charlotte has a higher population than me. Excuse me? Sorry, buddy. I didn't even know you were looking into that. Look it up on Wikipedia, man. I don't trust the twits. I trust all these twits. What is this bullshit? <laughs> Charlotte, 751,000. Vancouver, 603,000. Yeah. You, you gotta talk about the metropolitan area, you jerkwads. You can't just talk about the city proper. Why? Because that's real silly. Why is that real silly? Because people don't live in the city of Vancouver because every apartment is like a million dollars a year. You know, Vancouver, so, uh, I, I saw on a list recently. You think, you think more people live in the suburbs of Vancouver than live in the suburbs of Charlotte? Maybe. Alright, go on, Twitters. You guys know what to do. <laughs> Why don't you just look it up on Wikipedia? It takes two seconds. Because I'm watching you stream, I'm a real busy dude. Why don't you guys just play Trackmania 2 and see how many people there are in each region, <laughs> and, and that's the final say. Dude, Josh is like number 11 in North Carolina now. Something like that. I was like 14 when I last If you though. get in the top three, they send you a pin for your lapel. Really? Really? Yeah, in the mail. What? Uh, I'm completely making that up. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's huge. That'd be, real, that'd be super cool if they did that, though. <laughs> Trackmania seems like the kind of game that would be, you know, into that, maybe. Yeah. It's very personal. <laughs> it's It's got that kind of, like, Saturday morning feel. You were... Charlotte met... Oh, fuck that. Yeah, right? Bullshit. Dude, no one lives in this. Well, people do live in the city of Vancouver, but not many people proportionally live in the city of Vancouver. It's it's literally it's 2.3 million compared to 2.2 million. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like Vancouver has 16,000 more people. Josh, how do you feel? <laughs> Would you like to apologize? <laughs> no, we don't like to apologize because the city has more people, and that's what we were talking. No, about. it's not the city. It's the state of mind, man. The city, not the state of mind. Haven't Alicia like, Keys and Jay Z taught you anything? I don't even know. They taught me a lot. In Vancouver, pretty close <laughs> to <laughs> the ocean. Poutine jungle, where dreams are made poutine of. Poutine jungle. It rains more than average. Jungle. Oh, it's Kellerod. The, the, the poutine. You get what lost. What the hell would live in the poutine jungle? There's like little poutine monsters that run around and like bite your ankles and shit. <laughs> Is that you're basing that on like Diablo 3's jungle? Or Diablo 2's? I'm just, <laughs> I'm just imagining really tired animals that ate too much poutine and just want to sleep now. Sloths. They're all, they're, it's, all, it's all poutine. Poutine eating sloths. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Every part of the world has those like awful legal commercials, right? Yes. The heavy hitters are all you need. Call 1-800-10-30-33. No. I want to see the ones they have in like Saudi Arabia. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm not gonna do an impression because it might come across as incredibly culturally insensitive. Uh, apparently, that doesn't stop some people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know what? I, I can't lie. I would love to see those commercials as well, preferably with some kind of English translation underneath. Yeah, uh, that's what YouTube's for. We need to start YouTube and that shit. We do. I mean, someone does. <laughs> well, we need to start looking at it. Yeah, we need it. to find somebody to, to upload it, and then we'll watch it. No question. When you get a little bit older, you, like, start watching those daytime TV commercials if you're homesick from school or work or something, and you're like, wow, these really do appeal to just, like, or they're designed to appeal to <laughs> just, like, people who, you know, need to go to the University of Phoenix online right now or something. I've been in that position, man, where I've been like home and watching Judge Judy, and then the commercial comes on, and it's like, you can get a degree in six months working from home, and I'm like, shit, man, I should do that. But then I'm like, wait, Northern Lion, you're watching you Judge Judy right Northern now. Lion. It's a trap. You just got targeted by advertising, man. Exactly, and it worked. It happens. Well, it didn't really work because I didn't do anything, but it worked for a second. Oh, good, it's <laughs> Kellerod again. Exciting. I remember staying home from sick from school. The best thing ever was watching The Price Is Right yeah. at eleven o'clock. And that's why uh, The Price Is Right drinking game is my favorite. That was a fun game. It is. It's. It's also. You know. You have to play it at eleven in the morning. Otherwise, it's too easy. <laughs> exactly. I'm not sure I know what the drinking game is. Can you go over? At for some me? point, we'll do it. I'm oh, sure. Okay. Drink when you're thirsty. That's a great I'm game. That, right that's now. the adult drinking in game. Yeah. <laughs> It's the first rule of every drinking game. Although, I don't know if... You're living yourself. You know, living in the first world, I'm not sure I can think of a time outside of, like, that one time I went to Las Vegas where I've actually been thirsty. I drink Excuse a lot me. of water. So I'm just saying we should do a live stream of The Price is Right drinking game. If I thought we wouldn't get sued out the ass by CBS, that, was some, that would be something I would totally love to arrange, but... Well, we, right. we'd be so there's got to be a knockoff third-party version of Price is Right that has all the names changed? <laughs> I d Someone... doubt it. <laughs> there has to be. What we, could, if we... we could do it with the game. Alright, so you have the Price is Right, you know, games that you recorded. We'll just watch one of those. And, like, uh, like the Price is Right, the video game. Game, yeah. Colon, the drinking game. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I don't know how you play, so I'm not sure how apt that is, but it's. Why wouldn't we just play the, uh, the, the, the Dark Souls drinking game? Yo, you, I will be doing that 24-hour live stream, and we will be Prepare playing. Prepare to drink. Yeah, we will that be playing. Prepare to drink. Solid, well-produced site. It is. So <laughs> it, it's amazing. The site, the production values on that site are about a hundred times better than I expected them to be. <laughs> yeah. It's insane. I don't think I've ever seen a drinking uh, game website that oh. looked that good. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen whoa! Whoa! Oh, I face. just got a tweet from Boopface. Hey, Boopface. Boopface. She's alive. That's what I named my character in Jurassic Heart. Boopface. 
boop face. Someone just suggested a drinking game for you, Nick, and it would be the Rockley Smile Soda Drinker Pro drinking game. Every time you drink in Soda Drinker Pro, you drink. You do know that you're in charge of when you drink. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're in charge of your own fate. So you just drink. Yeah, that's the first Wait, rule of life. Why even play the game then? Oh, yeah. Because you get the audience to participate with you. Exactly, participate man. Participate in doing what? Telling me to drink? Cause every every, drink every new subscriber, take a drink. That yeah, is yeah. an interesting game. That game <laughs> that you just mentioned, that's probably worth looking into. It's it's really uh, it's a cheesy marketing tactic, and it might kill you. But <laughs> It might kill me. I saw a guy that played a game where every time he died in Super Meat Boy, he took a drink. Oh my god. That guy almost did die. Yeah, world's bravest man. He got to, like, chapter 3, I think, of the <laughs> factory, and I think after that he had no control of his mo motor functions anymore and he had to go to the bathroom and I'm not sure he came back out. Some of the like, drunkest I've ever been uh, was this time I was playing Mega Man 9. I know, I'm super cool. And, <laughs> That's a weird uh, game to play drunk. My, my friends and I said, we're gonna, I, I don't know what happened during this invasion, by the way, but uh, we, uh, we were playing Mega Man 9 and we took a, a shot every time we died. And the problem is that, like, you know, once you get three or four shots deep, you're just going to die all the time. It's a positive yeah. feedback it's loop. Same thing for Meat Boy. Similar. Exactly, yeah, you just spiral out of control. This diaper's oh, right. making my nuts rub together. It's going to start a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're lucky they don't, like, copyright jokes. Otherwise, our lose. sense of humor would be on full display, and that would be terrible. Right. Yeah, we could easily knock out three copyright strikes in one five-minute Oh, minute no, quite. We probably just did in that spell of, like, ten seconds. Spell. Speak. I don't play Pokemon, but a big black dick sounds like it would evolve into a bigger black dick, and the final evolution is the biggest black dick. Yeah, I would imagine. Big, I think big black dick -mon. Wow, it's at 800 likes already. It's a, you know, every once in a while, we get kind of a glimpse of the kind of power that, uh, you know, this live streaming affords us. Yesterday we saw it when we, like, put Ohm's channel up and he got, like, 200 subscribers in oh three God, minutes Ohm. or something. That, that was, was good. crazy. With great power comes great responsibility, so we have to just not abuse it, basically. <laughs> that was exciting. That was exciting watching that happen. It was! It's like, just take control of this man's fate for a couple seconds and bam! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't know if he'll be able to hit it here, and then we just put it up and it's like, oh, okay, he overshot it by like... Oh, it's like 200 more. <laughs> yeah, he got literally triple what he needed.